Hello, Matter of Thirteen, and I'm introducing for the Inverted Shadow. Why? Hello! Why don't you carry on this conversation? This is your video. Because it's in your job template to do so. I have a job template? Well, apparently now. <laughs> oh my god, really? Where do I do voicing? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere! <laughs> Everywhere! Oh my god, I'm just gonna break out as many of my quotes from every one of my Let's Plays. So let's do this really quick. No, no, let's go. Okay, regardless, um... Hello, everyone. I feel awkward being here because it's like... Hmm, I, I'm stealing someone's spotlight. And Julie and... Uh, the Inverted Shadow here. Anyone of y'all want to carry off because I don't know how to start introductions? Oh, how do we... Honey, how do we want to do this? Oh, I don't know, sweetheart. Sorry. So what, are we all now talking in British accents? Is it required by law? Why the fuck No. <laughs> I live in Texas. Most of Sorry, the only accents you get down English. here are the hillbillies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, oh, don't speak to me about accents. We're certainly off to a good start. Awkward. Very awkward. <laughs> Awkwardness. As, well, as my friends in LGBT says, every awkward moment happens, a gay baby's born. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> I can actually, I, I can actually imagine a gay baby being born. I just came out the vagina and I'm not going Never back going in. Back in. Thank oh you, my God, sister. Richard Jenny. <laughs> Please <laughs> tell me you got that from Richard. Rest Jenny. in peace, Richard Jenny. Rest in peace, Richard Jenny. May he love you, man. Uh, you made him. my life that much better. Why'd you yes. have to go? But we love you anyway. <sighs> peace. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um, oh, the whole idea of this is uh, fine. I'll take the lead. Yay! Please do the whole since idea you are the of this. I I was the idiom, the idiom of courage. Suddenly I'm knight. You're the interviewer. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> See if I can, can I do the? Should I do the new voice or should I do my whiny Riku emo voice? Uh, <laughs> Just do it at random. We'll see if we can keep up with you. <laughs> All right. Um, the whole idea of this is I, w I, w I wonder how long I can keep my voice up like this before it just like completely gives out like crap. Then you do a fantastic no. Winnie Riku voice. Okay. <sighs> okay, so the whole idea of this is just me. I'm just interviewing. So everyone really kind of. I bet you a few of your GMod friends want to know how did you get into this? How because did I get into GModding? Yes, because from what I remember when you first started out, you started out as Game King 6577, and I was one of the few people who followed you on your Let's Watches and Let's Plays. <laughs> Well, the thing is, um, I think I answered this in my Q&A, but I'll say it again. Basically, what happened is that I kept watching people like GB7, Zone7, Manuel Monaro, Mr. Mild, and people like that. And I figured, since I have Gary's mod on me, why can't I just do it for myself? So, I started making the little videos of Windows Movie Maker, because that's all I had at the time. And that's where an untitled comic reference... They actually, the actual story behind that is that I made an audio preview for it, per se, and Julie here actually liked it, isn't that right? I think so, I don't remember that far back. <laughs> My memory is crap. Yeah, well basically she laughed at it, and what happened is that I decided to go through it and try to recreate it in Gary's mod, and it suddenly became a hit, so I decided to stick with the Kasumi model that I had and rename it Kami. Well, the story behind that is that... Yeah, there's a much bigger story behind that. Yeah, do you want to explain that for me, honey? Because I. Do you. You sure you want me Feel to. Feel free to take the lead. Feel free to take the lead, Julie. I would love to hear yours. Okay. So, I, like, knew nothing about Team Fortress 2, and I knew nothing. Well, I had watched Gary Mod videos, but they didn't really attract me, because the only ones I was able to find were the, like, the uh, YouTube poop kind, and I hate YouTube poops. So I never watched them. Yeah, the rubber them. fruit ones, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't handle that, because it really bugs me for some time. It's like. No good quality, ah, you know. Um, <laughs> I, I'm very, I'm a, I'm a horrible stickler for that kind of stuff. Um, and so I knew nothing of like Vagineer or any like any of the weirdos as we call them. Um, and Chris was like, "I'll do an introduction for you." So the very first one he did was, what, what did you call me? Did you call me Thornwolf or Wolfie? Thornwolf. I don't remember which. Do you call me Thornwolf? <coughs> Um, yes. So the first one was Thornwolf meets Dick Sandwich, which had a really bad ending. Um, I'm sure that people have seen his Q and A. I think it was. Yes. Um, oh boy. You saw the final <laughs> scene on that. It wasn't good. Um, oh, and yeah. so I kind of got in this case a little bit. I said, "Look, I don't want to be associated with that, lest people get like the wrong idea about me." So he changed. He didn't really even change the name. Um, 
I think he just blotted out Thornwolf and put it in Wolfie. Um, yeah. Lazy. And I really wasn't happy then, because I, so I finally like, really got on his case and went, and went, dude, I don't like this. She said <laughs> me a very hurtful email. I'm sorry. Very hurtful was, email. It was a painful video for me to watch, you know? No, 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 um, I get it, honey. So I, Aww. you know, it, it kind of hurt me a lot, so I told him that it, that I wasn't okay with it. That I couldn't, this was even before we got together, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I told him, I don't like it, it really was hurtful. So he went back and changed the last half of it. But during this, I was kind of went, I don't want my name to be in this. Because I wasn't sure mm. what was going on at the time, and I was really nervous about it. So I said, I don't want to be, I don't want my name to be attached to this. And he went, okay, what name should we use? And at the time, I was on a horrible Okami kick. I love the game, I've played it all the way through six times. God damn um, that dog! <laughs> I love that dog, shut up, dude. I think he's I referring would be, to I, him in in I am Amato Rossi's cheap combos in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, One button combo, that is bullshit. <laughs> I love that combo. <laughs> um, that's anyway. why I rate that's why I destroyed that dog with Virgil every goddamn time. Excuse me. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright, um, buddy. But I was on a on an Okami kick, so I went just drop the O, it turns into Kami. And yet everybody to this day thinks it's a shortened version of Kasumi, but that's okay. In technical, <laughs> in technicality, it is. It could be. be, yeah, because if you, you just take the, the S and the U, the, the middle yeah. part, the SU, is yeah, then the it's SU. Kami still. You take out the Syracuse University. No. Um, that's an interesting origin. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how did like that's an interesting origin? How y'all all started off from? Yeah. And then came the my um. immortal reading. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm bringing fault. that up. I had yeah. to sit through that, and I enjoyed every messed up second. <laughs> you ever watch? You ever like? Okay. Have you ever watched a movie, and it has those really embarrassing parts that you yourself feel embarrassed for because you actually put yourself in their situation? That's how it works for me. <laughs> I know how that feels. So do you Prime example: of that Anyone mess? ever watch School Days? School Days, the anime. My God. Is that the Are, one with the Sekai and... Yeah, 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 yeah. please, please. You, you know, I thought I recognized... <gasps> I, only, I only know that name because the another Gmod of the Crystal Raider uses those characters primarily. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. So you want, you want to go in the background show. of that mess? The My Immortal thing? Yeah, let's go with that. How did okay. that start out? Okay. That was my um, fault entirely. Honey, <laughs> if, honey, should should I tell it or should how, you tell it, Julie? I don't remember the beginning of it all. I just remember how I got involved. Um... Well, what happened is that she was going to do the My Immortal drinking game only with fermented, ap slightly fermented apple cider. <laughs> yeah, still well, be really was, what it really was, was I had accidentally forgot about my backpack for about two weeks, so it fermented in the warmth of my backpack. And then I pulled it out and I was like, hey, I'll just use this. Um, started doing the thing and got sick immediately after. Because I, I drained the entire 16-ounce bottle within the first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the the, oh, the true um, I I write fan fiction for people who don't know this. Most of the time, I get horrible flack for this because, unfortunately, people only know the bad fan fiction. I e may I mortal. just take a brief moment to advertise your fan fiction, honey? Oh, go right. Advertise now. away. Advertise away. Go read last. It will be one of the greatest things you've ever ri read. You actually read it. Oh. Well, I've read the first few chapters to know enough, right. but I know enough that it is quite an interesting read. I will. That's post like reading Stephen. You better read the whole damn thing, son, because that's like reading Stephen King's misery. Yeah, I will post. I will. <laughs> I will post. I will post the link to the. You story gotta post the, the link to that, and you gotta post the link to my alternate account where I have the Kami saga. Yes, um, we'll get into that later, but okay. I, will po I will post links to both of those in the video description. Mm. All right, and before I progress any further on this. <coughs> Screw doing the voice. <laughs> I can't do it completely. I can't. Do you hear me out there, YouTube? I can't do this voice over and over. It kills the living shit out of me. I don't blame you. Okay, so to dude. all the fans who want to continue to hear the new voice, you'll get your little random bits. You will get to hear more freaking voice acting. But for right now, let me have my voice at rest. I do so. I do too many voices enough, especially it's um. Uh, especially the malpractice surgeon in Anson Retort. I'm doing his voice, and I love it, because it involves me putting a cookie in a guy's brain. Cookie! Yes, I, so I'm not going to do the voice for that. I have to do, I'll do the voice acting later. But yeah, continue on. 
Okay, me. We kind of lost it in that whole talking Randy about the Meyer Mortal thing. Oh, right. Um, thank that. you. That's I, but because of my my writing and fan fiction and just tooling around and finding things, I had stumbled across. Actually, the true origins of this um, was I was looking for different fan fictions and such, and I stumbled across the Hellfire commentaries reading of My Immortal. And listening to it, I thought it was the funniest piece of shit I had ever heard. Um, and so I went and tracked down the actual story. This thing is so bad, it was actually removed from fanfiction.net. They were like, <laughs> no, this is bullshit, and they got rid of it. However, it lives on in the My Immortal uh, web host site. And so I found it and started reading it and thought it was the stupidest thing I'd ever seen in my life. And I had to do a reading of it. I read the entire 44 chapters in about three days. Despite the fact that I am a horrible grammar Nazi, I love stupid fan fiction. It's a pain that I adore. Probably comes from Mystery Science Theater 3000 because I have a love of bad movies as well. MST3K. Um, <laughs> um, I I adore I adore that show. God, I I actually have a little time servo. Um, he's in one of my videos I think for about ten seconds. Oh um, my god! Awesome. <laughs> Actually, Dad stole him from me. I got. I'm, I have to go kill him for that. But um, <laughs> oh my but god! But I, I guess I started doing the reading, and I couldn't get through it doing the drinking game. So I said, "Okay, I got to find something else to do." So I was talking about it to Chris one night, and I was like, "Dude, this is the stupidest piece of crap I've ever seen. You have to read it with me." <laughs> <laughs> and so now he's so like, oh. "So I roped him in, and every and, and you've heard him screaming at the fan fiction." <laughs> 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 I can actually imagine how this works. A little romantic evening to set the mood. Batch, bow wow. Yeah, Awkward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know you wanted him read. You want you wanted to read it with him because you thought I, it was romantic. No, I fucking did not. It was the <laughs> stupidest piece of unromantic. <laughs> <laughs> We're messing Honestly, with I, you. <laughs> no, I understood. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic um, evening, my left testicle. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we oh really can't have any quote unquote romantic evenings. Hey, Chris, should we tell them about us? The about truth? what? About the fact that we don't actually live anywhere near each other. <laughs> mm. Yes, because um, I'm living here in Queens, New York, and she's living in Utica, New York. Yep, that's a six hour drive, kids. No, because I keep getting people asking me, like, don't, you know, oh, it must be so nice to see him. Every and I'm like, no, I don't see him. <laughs> Ever. Wait, people actually post that on your channel? People, no, I've talked to people who actually think that we live, like, within four or five blocks of each other, and we don't. <laughs> like, hmm. Turkish Phantom example, he was talking to me, and, and he was amazed to find out that we don't live anywhere near each other. <laughs> By the way, for those who are wondering, Turkish Phantom and I have made nice if you did not see my m recent video. I saw the video, it was nice. Yeah. Although, I wonder how he'll react to the fact that I called him a faggot back then. Uh, uh, put it this way, uh, put it this way, dude. Um, I'm already having, I don't have issues, I'm any issues with trolls, mainly because I want to why live about some of my viewer van, my, <laughs> my viewer fan base, there we go. My grammar sucks today is that they don't really hate my videos, but I love it how some people are for constructive criticism. Prime example, my Marvel vs. Capcom 3 videos, and they're like, you know, saying how I can work better. Yeah. I love viewers like that. Good and I got random assholes good. who think I'm a racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, continue on with the whole y'all two thing. It's very, uh, how would you say, um... I don't even want to go Romeo and Juliet-ish, because it's like y'all killed each other after three days. Oh, what? What do you mean? <laughs> no. no, no, no. Um, Murder and love. It goes hand in hand. <laughs> I don't... Did you, did you ever tell anybody... I don't remember, like, if we ever told anybody how we actually got started together as a pair. A couple. A couple. Yeah, I will go into that. Go ahead. you mind, Julie? Go right ahead. Take it away. Except <laughs> I will probably interject at one point, because I need to just point out something that you did to me. In the words, eh, wait, in the words of an handsome retort, OBJECTION! Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Objection overruled, go fuck yourself sustained. Proceed. Yes. <laughs> okay, so basically, here's the deal. Like, 
It actually started back, as I said, on my Game King 6577 channel. I'll also post a link to that so people can go subscribe to that and watch my pretty bad outdated Let's Plays. Do Advertising for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to point it out. No, 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 no. That's, that's cool, dude. I'm, I'm going to advertise on your channel right now. I'm going to post a link of three of my Let's Plays because they don't have enough views. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, back to what I was saying. It started back on my Game King 6577 channel. I had. Posted a video of me in the Beatles rock band singing Dear Prudence, which happens to be one of Julie's most favorite songs of all time. You did that for me, I think. Yes, that's what I was getting at. Yeah. And she was having a very bad day, and she absolutely loved it. And that's when she got a bit of a crush on me. A bit? Aws. Okay, a, a, a very, very, very big crush. Thank you. So cute. And what happened? I'm not making is, fun of y'all. That is no, cute. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no we, we understand. We get and it. what happened is that um, she actually started loving me after that video, but she was too afraid to come out with it. He bugged the shit out of me because I'm not kidding. This is what you did to me. I don't think I've ever <laughs> told you. You kept doing videos for me. You kept doing love songs, and you put my name into said love song, and then go, "We're just friends." <laughs> no, I swear to God, I didn't. You know what? Give I, me a piano right now. Cause I'm gonna write you a love song. Stop it! I swear! I swear to God! I swear to God! It's <laughs> it's like I, I swear! It, it, I didn't know that she actually loved me. I really didn't. I just I thought she just wanted to stay friends. It's cool, dude. No. Guys are oblivious and stupid like that. We really don't no. catch him. So. Well, oh at, yeah! At the time, hey! At the time, I had just come out of a really bad relationship, and I was kind of done with the opposite sex. I was like, "Screw this! I'm going home." Wait! 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 Don't Is go. Is there implied account. lesbian action? No, God! <laughs> oh, dude, don't be no. a dick. Come I on, just, man. I'm I just, joking. I couldn't stand it because, like, I had gone through like a string of. Twits, and I couldn't. I would like to use horrible language, but I don't want to. Um, and I was done. I was like, "Fuck this! I'm leaving the scene. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this anymore." And then I come across him, and it's like, "Shit, my dream guy!" And he doesn't like me. Fuck! Uh, Actually, wait, I thought I, I thought you were in a relationship. Really your dream guy? Yeah, you are. Why is that? Just don't know. You're perfect, huh? Hmm. Okay, this over this overload of love is making me want to, you know, firebomb a box <laughs> of kittens right now. Just burn. Don't you dare. Okay, Don't you dare. okay, we'll speed it. We'll keep going. No, 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 no. I'm saying I just like that. It's like you have to excuse my interjections as new, but at the same time, oh, okay. you do understand. I Chris knows I'm a nice guy. Yeah, you're I'm a, like I'm a one nice of the best friends I've ever had. Yeah. And I just don't like to. I don't like to show people I'm nice. It's like, <laughs> ew, I have to show. I have to show emotions and actually show I care for another human. No! Burn them! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck no, we get it, we get it. We totally it's understand, fine. dude. It's fine. Dude. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Continuing. Mm -hmm. skip, skip, so, skip, skip, basically, skip. um, where, where did I just leave off? Uh, when, uh, you, when you, you she thought you were the perfect me? guy. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, because I kept making these videos of me singing songs to her. One of them actually happened to be The Future Soon by Jonathan Colton, one of my favorite songs. I think that's the one that truly made me fall in love, because I was like, he's a nerd, too. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I can ever find a girl who likes Mega Man as much as I do, then I'll probably quit with the whole evil shit and just get, o just, you know, get on with my life. Like, yes, finally! He'll become a human Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> no, no, no. Korea. We're not... Why did why did shot? Oh my God! Please, why? I hate, <laughs> I hate that Shadow the Hedgehog. I like I don't even I can't like him anymore ever since that. Nerd rage. <laughs> or I got that nerd rage. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, it's just like uh, past experiences. I've had fun with women. I really have. But it's at the same time, it's just like now I really want to find someone who means something to me. So it's gonna be kind of a hard road. Hmm. Hmm. You'll yeah. find that perfect one someday, buddy. Yeah, as long as she's like, as long as she's into bondage. Regardless. <laughs> oh, you ought to look up Little Miss Rarity then. Oh god. Uh, let's. How about I just keep? How about I? How about I enjoy My Little Pony, as innocent as it is, please. <laughs> you don't. Don't look up my. Please, just don't go there. Don't. One go there. word: Rarity and BSDM. Stop it. No, 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 that's, that, save that for the bedroom and humans, not ponies. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I will post a link to that too for those who are curious. No, I don't want to she say, no. post. <laughs> no. She said no. Don't. Okay, alright, the lady says so, then it shall be. Thank you. Because I worship you. <laughs> worship me, or else have your eyes till they bleed. I'm the Lord and Master. Anyway. Okay, so that's a cute little story how that happened. I just like writing love song, like singing love songs to her via yeah. rock band. That is very geekish love, but at the same time, it's a sweet geekish love. I haven't even gotten to how she actually confessed. Please do Ooh, that. Ooh, interesting. Um, actually, first tell them when you finally fell in love with me. Well, I will be honest. It's just the fact that. God damn it, brain fart. How did I first. I can't even remember. What the fuck? You're going to make a great husband. Can't even remember an anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's just winter breaks coming, and I'm. We we we, we got together <coughs> during December around Christmas time, and I so wanted to kiss him, and I so wanted to hold his hand, but I was terrified, and he <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> it's like, because Aww. again, I did not know that you actually loved me. I want love. Yeah. Um, this is so sweet. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright. I'm not crying. It's, it's <laughs> raining. <laughs> Come on, buddy. It's okay to cry. It's no, I don't have feelings. Why would you ever imply that? I will kill you all if you imply that I have any sort of human emotion. <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> Men have cried. Men have cried. Manly tears, buddy. Manly tears. Manly tears. <sighs> Man tears! I'm, okay. I'll admit, the one time I did cry, and it sounds really dorky, and it sounds really messed up, it's like, I'm one of the manly dudes. I can lift weights. I can get punched in the face. It's like, yeah! The one thing that made me cry was... I'm advertising for this. Anyone who ever reads the Mega Man manga, look up Gigamix Volume 3, the final chapter... Oh, I know what you're talking <sighs> about. Yeah. Proto Man. Oh. Just Proto Man. Yep. And one of the sad thing is, it reminded me I was listening to the Proto Men, the band. Yeah. Hope Rides Alone. And when I heard that, I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Easy. Come on, buddy. It's okay. Yeah. It was, dude, it's not. It's like, is it, that's the actual canon story for Mega Man, how it works yeah. out now. It's like, He's really gone. I'm pissed because he's gone. He was like the coolest dude ever. Yeah. But yes, other than that, yes, it's like, it was it was a bit of a, like a tragic thing for him. At the same time, they made him very how would you say? They made him likable, mainly because he kind of took the weight of the world on his shoulders. He didn't want to be loved by anyone. It's like saying, "No, screw it. I'm gonna be the hero. Die. Yeah. Dead." Yeah. Ah. <sighs> okay, but let's go back to y'all because right now, I gotta dry my eyes for a second. Okay. It's okay to admit that you were crying, buddy. Come on, we are all bros here. <laughs> all they found was his broken helmet. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Easy there, buddy. <laughs> I'm not crying. Who's crying? Okay, let's get let's Come, off that topic. I think it's getting much harder for you to deny it here, buddy. Stop <laughs> no, it. No, it's Chris not. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm just... No, 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 Julie. I hear you. Don't worry. It, it's I like I like toying with people, and okay. trust me, I have the emotions of a schizo. So it works for me. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, no, emotions are everywhere. everywhere. I'm just I'm just everywhere. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, it's all right. So continue on about the whole when you actually started falling in love with her. Where I think Julie was talking about it, right? Yeah. Well, I, 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 still, I was saying when I seriously fell for you was when we got together in December. Um, but I don't know. I keep forgetting when you fell for me. Like, uh, I know you did. I know you did early on because I talked to you before, but I don't quite remember when. Hmm. <sighs> God damn it! I, I used to. I, I haven't thought about it in so long. It's the, argh! I used to be able to remember special subjects, and I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> that that meme again, I, I swear to God. I uh, don't feel bad. <laughs> I was just joking around, but I love that meme because, like, I actually played Skyrim. It's like, oh, so I get the joke behind it. Mm. <laughs> I guess that Come on, jog your memory, dude. Come on, it's not that hard to remember something that important. I know for a fact that um, she had mentioned me in one of her videos, and just the fact that... Uh, let me be, let me allow me to be honest. It's the fact that when I first started making the whole 
loving thing between Kami and Dick Sandwich that she loved so much, I decided to keep going through with it. And it's just the fact that she stuck with me all that time, and that she loved it. And she, then she even started writing the story, which we will get to later. Just the fact yeah. that I, you know, I just... Something clicked. I really wanted to just be with her, but I was too much of a pussy ass to admit it. Ah. Yeah. So you're like when you were trying to be machismo. Muy machismo. Yes, I was trying to be a big mature man about it, but it just wouldn't work. Aw. Yep, and then I think it was me who finally broke the ice. So. I will tell that because I Go feel like ahead. I am the one okay. who has to do it. Go ahead. Oh, and I have Julie wants to tell no, it, no, or no, y'all want to tell it. No, no, please. Tell me you do it because I don't remember that much. <laughs> Other than hiding Basically, underneath my desk when I was doing it. <laughs> Basically, oh, what wow. happened is that for a couple days, she had been breaking down crying because she was telling me the truth that she had not told me before about all the guys that she had been through. Because, um, is it alright if I told him what happened if with you the so desire. football team? If you so desire. Basically, what happened is that she broke down crying and told me that she was actually almost attacked by a whole bunch of football players, and she managed to get away because... How long did you get away? Um... I realized I was only in, like, 7th or 8th grade at the time, so I really had no idea what they were doing. Other than I was in the Aww. boys' locker room and I wasn't supposed to be there. And when one of them came at me, I very nicely kicked him as hard as I could in the groin without realizing very what nicely. I was kicking. He dropped the floor screaming, and I went, Hey, that works! Who's next? Um, and they all kind of took off. <laughs> people, I'm, I'm small and kind of demure, but people don't realize that I took karate for about three years, and I work with 1,500 pound horses. <laughs> um, I can throw myself around if I so desire. Um, but yeah, I, I went through that and I went through a series of guys. Like, I, I was part of a harem for about a month until I realized what the guy was doing and turned my back on that. And, you know. Good for I, you, honey. And, and, I'm sorry, tearing up again. Um, Aww. And uh, Aww. dealing with a guy who I seriously... Actually, he started it with me. I seriously loved him. And then he vanished for about three months. And then two huh. days after Valentine's Day, he broke up with me. Um, after <sighs> I sent him a really, like, gushy letter. And then to have him go, I need to get a closer relationship with God. Which I think is the stupidest excuse ever. But hey, okay, hey, 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 before anyone goes into the god bashing, because everyone already knows I love bashing religion, <laughs> see my limbo, let's it's play. Not, it's not a bashing thing, but I think it's more of a... Ma for me, it was more a matter of... The reason why he it's vanished a, was, he was, gro he was grounded for three months. That's why he vanished. You, did, you couldn't crack the Bible then, you know. And also, where in the Bible does it say, if you want to get a closer relationship with God, that you need to break up with your girlfriend? That doesn't make any sense to me, so... 100% dick move, in my opinion. On the other hand, I will say this much after... To I me, it was more along the lines he was scared. That's how I view it, because put it this way, I've been in those situations before where I'm not ready to commit to someone, and it's just like... Uh... I haven't... I, I didn't make dick moves like that, but at the same time, it's just... Yeah. It's, he was probably either scared or just pussying out. Hmm. Well, that's okay, because after about two years of me not talking to him... I finally got a message on Facebook saying, you want to get back together? And I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> you didn't talk to me for two years. What? First off, you broke up with me like, <laughs> <laughs> with this lame-ass excuse. You didn't talk to me for two years, and right now I've already got somebody else in the line, so. <laughs> like, yeah, punch a hole through the computer. No! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or just after or just go the route of SpongeBob, stick your hand in the stick your hand in the phone line and just karate chop him. Yeah, really. I really. Oh yes, I made a SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> reference. Shut oh, up. I was pissed at him. Anyway. Yes. Mm. Moving on. You can. Talk that was. About first. Oh, you want me to continue? Yeah, right? go ahead. Mm. So what happened is that, she, for, as they were saying, for the past few days she was telling me all these secrets that she was never you could never confide to anyone else because she trusted me enough. And then there was that one fateful night. I was working on one of the new episodes, uh, on the latest episode of uh, Nightmare in Gmod, which you was all should have watched by now. Was yep. It Is it wrong that I haven't? Because I was a bit of a latecomer with your stuff, so what I have been doing before you attack me, before you attack me. I'm not, I'm not, not doing it, anything. You will fear me. <laughs> Regardless, um, 
I've been going back and actually watching all of your older stuff because it's like I want to see how the like this is kind of why I brought the whole thing up here. I, I, I start watching the beginning of stuff. It's like I want to see how this legacy began. <laughs> That's quite so interesting. yeah. So right. don't don't chew me out if like no no, no, we, no, get no it. we would we never get it. do that. It's okay, dude. Thank you. Yep. Hmm. Anyway. Moving on. Now, where, where was I now? Uh, you were talking about... Oh, yes. You know, like, I was yes. Work, it was that one fateful night. I was working on the most recent... At the time, the most recent episode of A Nightmare in Gmod, and Julie was on the line with me talking, and she was just clamming up for some reason, and because we had dis been discussing all this, I wanted to know like what was going on. She told me that she wanted to be like Kami because she had a lover, and she had somebody who cared about her. And, well... Then there came the moment, there came that one moment I will never forget. She broke down sobbing hysterically, at least I remember it, I believe. <laughs> yes, I was. And, and what happened, and what did it, what did it, uh, sorry, steam chatters. It's okay. What ended up happening is, what it, b b b b b b <laughs> what ended up happening is that she ended up telling me that, well, Sorry, trying to remember because a slight brain freeze here. What happened at what ended up here? Let's go down, try again. <laughs> Don't feel bad. What ended up happening is that well as she through her sobbing, I told her that, you know, that she did have somebody who cared for her, and what ended up happening is well, she I got it out of her, she said she loved me, and it took me a moment to realize that she really did love me, and I said, I love you too. Yeah. In that exact awkward fashion? No. No, well, it's just because I, I felt, because I was so overjoyous, I couldn't believe somebody actually, because I've had very bad experiences with girls, too, mainly because yeah. they took advantage of my Asperger's, and I will not go into further detail there, because they need to go fucking suck a dick. Yeesh. Nice. <laughs> I think I just called out a bunch, I think I just fucking called out a bunch of all the girls that just play, fuck with me right there. Hey, Con I do, do no, no offense to you. No offense to you. But I think it is, I think this has happened ever since I became a brony. It's like love and tolerance, man. It's like it's like combining the word of Jesus with ponies. It's like maybe I should respect people more often. That way we can become friends. <laughs> and I find it actually worked. It's like, "Huh. Well, I'll be damned." <laughs> It's like Jesus was a brony. I knew he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a rumor I mean, you like to get first... behind. <laughs> it's like, yes, I, yeah, he was the first to preach love and tolerance. Yes. Why not? <laughs> and yet, that was considered a radical idea back then. Mm. How dare he care for other humans? How dare you? Mm. Is there anything <laughs> you would like to add to this, Julie? Um, other than, like, at the time, I'm not kidding about this either. I was so scared to tell you, I was actually hiding underneath my desk. <laughs> I was like, I, like I said, I had been through some bad relationships, and I was terrified. I, I know that you weren't in the room with me, but I was terrified if I told you, you would hit me. I don't know why. Oh, what but I was like, how does that work? <laughs> I don't know, but I, like I said, I had been through a couple of uh, abusive guys, and I was like terrified. I was like, he's going to get mad at me if I tell him, he's going to be pissed <laughs> Another I, thing, I, another thing you need to know about me, people. I do not hit girls. Only if no. they start the shit, then that's when I have to defend myself. Mm. I'm a very chivalrous kind of person, if that's the right term. I, I no, don't get really yes, less provoked. Yep. Most feminists would hate you, though, because sh they believe that chivalry is making the woman seem like the inferior. In a way, it kind of does. Screw it! Go ahead. I'm going off topic. No, <laughs> I think I like it, because it's... It's not a matter of inferiority to me, but it's more a matter of, like, they respect me, and they respect my space, which I didn't have for a long time, so I thank Chris for that. Um, hey, don't feel bad. I show respect to other guys as well, considering that, you know, I've got friends in the LGBT, and, and trust me, put it this way, I actually saw a guy cross-dress, I was like, damn, I really wonder if I am straight. <laughs> I don't blame really it. good at I'll admit that. I, mean. I, had, but my, I knew a guy, Josh, and he did, I was like, Oh my god, if I didn't know you had a penis, <laughs> I would I would hit that. Like, if I didn't know, I would take you to bed. Yeah. And then like, it would jump out immediately. Ah! I was like, I was like, still don't know. <laughs> 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 but yes, just, no, 
yeah. continue, please. Yeah, where 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 did we just leave off, honey? Um, chivalrous. Yeah, after chivalrous. After you were a chivalrous person. You. I couldn't even say the L word. I was I was just sitting there going I and just crying. <laughs> and he finally goes, "You love me." Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then just hear this like little like oh and he went see you hate me now and he's like no 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 I don't hate you <laughs> you have to understand whenever a woman does that no matter who a guy has to stop and go did I just hear that right yeah that's is, there, that's, it, that's, is Ashton Kutcher gonna come out and punch me in the face and say you got punked <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's exactly what was on my mind Julie <laughs> Seriously? I really thought yeah, I, I, cause like I said, I was afraid that you didn't actually love me, cause I, I, you know, you know. spur of the moment kind of thing. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean, though, honey. I'm so happy to have you in my life, though. I'm happy to have you. This is so sweet. I caught diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say it right now, in, Julie. In front of all these viewers, I will say that you are the most perfect, beautiful girlfriend I've ever had, and that I if I had a ring with me right now I'd get on my knees and I'd propose to you right here and now. <laughs> oh. Shut up! Shut up! I'm serious, honey. I really want to spend the rest of my life with you. I do too. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> no, seriously, no. No! Manly things. Manly Joey, things. Joey, please. Don't deny it. I know you're crying. You cannot I lie envy, to the shadow. I, shut up. I'm not crying. I <laughs> envy shadow. you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you cannot lie to the shadow man. Come on. Bullshit. Okay. I almost anyway. got you right there myself. <laughs> you made me fall you're talking the to a girl again? <laughs> you're you're talking. Oh my, oh my god. That is so corny yet so beautiful. And now, since, and now since I must reply, I want to see if I can get you into tears. <laughs> Julie, what do you have to Good say? Good luck. <laughs> Julie, say what's on your mind, please. I want to hear your you words. Are, you are, like, the best guy I have ever met. The most respect... Just the fact that you respect me, and you treat me like an actual human being, and you love me. And I honestly feel the safest whenever I'm with you, and I feel the happiest whenever I'm talking with you. And mm. if you were here and you did propose to me, I would accept in a nanosecond. Oh, you oh, may, wow. you maybe just fall in love with you ten times over again. I'm literally going to rip my heart out, <laughs> stomp on it, and then throw it at the audience, <laughs> namely you in the front row. I see, I see you chuckling at me. I'm gonna kill you in the front. <laughs> come on, man! It's come on. I'm threatening. <laughs> <laughs> no, regardless though, it's like you have to excuse me. I do the voice acting stuff too much. It's like I can pull off the I can pull off the idea. No, it's I fine. can pull off the idea that I'm crying. So good luck. I can be very convincing. <laughs> Secretly, I might have been crying. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay. <laughs> so um, let's be honest. Okay, let's be honest. One of the few times I ever really did was besides the Proto Man. God, I can't get over that. Nobody. Was besides. Can. I'm confessing to it, mainly because I have a little sister, and I saw Grave of the Fireflies, and I went, holy shit! If you ever seen Grave of the Fireflies, and you have a younger sibling, watch it with them. You will appreciate your family a lot more. I remember okay. that. I saw that, I think. It was a while ago. Thank you, Julie. Okay, everybody is free to shoot me now because what the fuck is Grave of the Fireflies? Because I've never seen or heard of it. I'm not angry about it. Just, just look it up. It's a very good anime. It You'll is. Like it. It's really sad. It's like I hated the ending because I was like, my little sister was in the next room and I just like wanted to run over and hug her. Like, oh yeah. my god, why? Is it kind I don't of like have the, siblings, the but it actually made me want to have one so I could hug them. <laughs> is it like the... I'm going to take a swing. Is it like the ending of Elfin Lead? Like... No, 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 the Elfin Lead was just like, it was a very, mel uh, screw Elfin Lead, you know what, screw, I like Elfin Lead. I'm going to catch hell, I'm going to catch hell, I'm going to catch hell for this. I don't like Elfin Lead, I tried liking it. No. 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 Zexia. Zexia. I think the, I think no. the, Virgil. No. the manga of it is better than the show. 
But at the same time, Elf and Lead, I mean, I liked it. It wasn't bad. Well, yeah. part of me didn't like it mainly because when I my first introduction to her was that she was a crazy bitch. Well, oh, I like crazy Julie. Bitches. Julie, let me, like, on that note, let me put it to you this way, Julie. If it wasn't for me ever watching Clubs of Elf and Lead in terms of Chaos Pack, we wouldn't have Melody. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Melody, Melody yeah, no, is no. that girl. I can't remember her name now. Fantastic. Here I am supporting the show, and I can't remember the fucking girl's name. But that little one in the wheelchair who's out of her fucking mind. <sighs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I hate her. Yeah, like, I was glad so she amazing. blew she's up. Like, kill everybody. I loved it. No. But I hated the that, That's the only thing I, I cannot it. stand I about. That's the only. I didn't feel bad as shit. Like, finally, blow the little fucker up. No, I felt bad for Nana. The nice one. Uh, regardless, it, it, got, it got on my mind. Oh, sorry about that. My mic cut off. But the only thing I didn't like about Elf and Leah, it was just... It, I just hated it. Simple as that. I didn't like that little girl. She deserved to die. Yeah, oh, well, I guess... My, prob my problem with anime is this. Little girls always come in there when everything needs to die. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that is actually a good point. The only in, time in, I felt well, bad for Lucy in was when they killed the puppy. Game, in any horror game, what is the scariest opponent? Little girls. I don't screw know Alma. why, screw but that they little, are. No, sc screw Alma, screw Lauren from Silent Hill, and screw whatever other little entity might be in a small... <laughs> and little sisters! Maybe and little sister. What about Scarlet No, you're not allowed to screw little sisters. No, 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 what, no, 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 wait, wait, what about Scarlet from Silent Hill Homecoming? That creepy Her bitch. too! Her too. Hate that little... Oh, actually, girl. I have to admit, I can't hate, like, uh, there's a little girl on Calling... Which I really haven't gotten to in my let's play. I, I, sh I should mention that right here. I've actually finished playing the game, both parts. So whenever people tell me that you should do this, I probably already have done it. So um, uh. stop sending me messages. <laughs> um, it's all recorded. I just need to put it on the YouTube. Um, but there's actually a little girl in it who I hated through the entire game until I found out what happened to her, and then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> No, Great, um, I just called this poor child a bitch. Oh, well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. You're, you're talking to a guy who's into Lovecrafty and horror, in which, no matter who you are, <laughs> no matter who you are, if you are, in the, if you are in the vicinity of this monster, you will die. There is no moral reasoning, and there is no, in a, there is no women and children first. Women and children are probably the first to get killed, maybe. Mm. But no. But, that was, yes, but... You know what, uh, let's see if we can move on to another question. You know what, uh, I think I should actually, you know, I never really addressed this. One of my friends actually addressed this, and I'll address it. Apparently how I got started. Oh. All right. To be honest, it's, it's an interesting subject, because I kind of got I kind of got inspired from Inverted Shadow. Hey. You, dude, I got inspired from you and Arctic Princess. Aww. Art Aww. Okay, calm down, she's a friend. Don't think anything other than that. We're not. I was just saying. Oh, I, I will that. mutilate you and bury your corpse Chill the beneath hell the river. Out. I was just saying. Oh, I'm so happy Excuse that I'm actually inspiring somebody. Okay, That's then. What I said you, get sentiment you get sentimental on me. I will hurt you. <laughs> My God. Okay. Yes, I can be a bitch at times. Jeez, Excuse calm me. down. <laughs> Don't you Take your little help post. Cheese. Pills here. Nah, don't no. start with that. I'm gonna have to kill something. <laughs> Having pills. Shut up. So yeah, bas <laughs> basically, my biggest inspirations were actually the Inverted Shadow and Arctic Princess. You should go check out her channel. She does voice acting stuff. Hmm. And Black Mamba three four five. Oh. The reason why. Um, he created the Devil May Cry, the Stupid Files, which is my main reason for being on YouTube, mm -hmm. which some of that stuff was funny as hell, because it was just like random movie quotes and Devil May Cry cutscenes that fit too well. My favorite one was um, um, when like Dante sees the giant savior from Devil May Cry 4, he's like walking over to the edge, that's a huge bitch! <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to make stuff like that. And... So, I just kind of got bored, I'm thinking, maybe I'll probably just do Let's Plays instead, because after watching Nintendo Capri Sun, mm -hmm. I, I watched one of his Let's Plays, I'm thinking, this ain't that all hard, that, that all hard to do. So, my first Let's Play ever was approximately, uh, what's today, about a little more than a year ago, a, more, a little more than a year ago, 
my first Let's Play was Let's Play Marvel vs. Capcom 3, when it first came out. And so many people loved it. A lot of people flocked to it. A lot of people liked it. I'm thinking, holy shit. I should probably <laughs> do more Let's Plays. <laughs> then came Vanquish, which... I swear the guy who made that game was a sadist. Like, like I said, like, the guy who made Okami, Resident Evil 5, and God End. Sadist! But yeah, it's just... I like that game, however, I wish, I really, you know what, I hate, excuse me if I am posting a link in here, but you really should check out that Let's Play, because I didn't get as much recognition as it deserved. Yeah, you like, know, was, we give you permission to use this on your channel as well, we'll send the files to you. Right? Yeah. Oh, right. Um, but the thing is, I just, I liked that idea, it's like, okay, apparently I'm getting better reception. However, I had a very shitty start. Yeah. The Marvel vs. Capcom thing was the only way I could actually get views, and then came... I think my biggest jump in popularity came when I started doing Mortal Kombat. Mm. Oh my god, the jokes, the jokes, the hell I caught for him. But it was out. It was only after that, like you know, when I incorporated Corey, aka the crazy black dude, aka Love Hater <laughs> One Hundred One. Yes, yeah. yes, Love Hater One Hundred One. It's like when it like because me and him, we live next. We like we live by each other, and I would always go to his like the best place to do the Let's Plays were in his dorm, and we would do. And put it this way, we were go was he wanted to have a drinking game for Devil May Cry three when I first started doing that. He said every time they He said every time they defy the laws of physics, drink. I was like, You would be plastered before the first five minutes. That game is going to physics hell. You're I all know. going to physics hell And before I go any further into this, um like I said, it was just the Mortal Kombat nine was my biggest jump in popularity. People loved it mainly because not I wasn't I wasn't a combo whore. I was just doing it for the fun, for the fuse, and people loved it. And then came... I don't know how I grew in popularity. It's, it was a very shitty start. I got 100 subscribers. That was like the biggest accomplishment thing ever. And now, apparently, it's doubled in like three months. So, I'm especially happy. I'm kind of happy where I am right now, and I'm hoping to get some subscribers out of you. Hey, hey, audience! Sit down. All of you on your computer, sit down. My story is interesting. This is theirs. <laughs> I'm watching you. No, no, you in the front row. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> Regar regardless, though, it's just... I, I appreciate y'all sticking with me because... Of course, dude. I loved your videos, the whole terror tunes. Mm. I loved them. Terror tunes were so funny. <laughs> no problem, buddy. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I enjoyed. I enjoyed it so much, though. It's like yes, and finally I can watch this without being a pussy. And before Damn. anybody questions it, yes, I will post. The, well, I don't know if I can since the YouTube federal rallies got to my watch. Let's watch before I did. Mm. Hmm. But well, I will post I... a link to a random part of each, so anybody can get the idea. <laughs> Fair enough. But oh, also, um. Oh yeah, fair warning to anyone of my viewers who may be watching this. Hey, I'm talking to you, Spirits Rise and G Maximus. It's uh, I'll be posting a link to my next Let's Play, which is basically uh, Shadow of the Colossus, the HD one. Oh my god, I can't get over I can't get over that one part because you because you Chris made a part eleven so fun to do. Did I now? <laughs> yes, where I was being corner raped. <laughs> Yeah. The sad thing was that actually happened in real life once with the bull. Oh my god. Oh god, you actually got raped? Are you serious? No, not not by a no. bull. No, I didn't get raped, but I'm talking about like, yeah, I got pinned corner. into the corner yeah. once like that. It's like, oh. You didn't get hurt, did you? Not really, no. Dude, I, I remember, if anything, it reminds me of the time I was going to um, my senior year in high school. The best way to be remembered at a party? Get hit by your friend's truck on the way to the party. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. A Apparently, I made a comment because, you know, we're all having a good time. We just went out to eat. We're all getting ready to go to a party at Hector's house. And here he is, and like, I'm making a joke that, about the driver, my friend Steven, how he was a tight end. He was a backup tight end, and I kept on giving him hell about, oh, dude, what the hell? How come they couldn't throw to you? You were, like, wide open. Because you suck, because you can't catch? I made that joke, and he stopped the car right there. He stopped the truck, and, you know, like, everyone, like, turned around, and they're, like, thinking, what the hell's going on? He just, like, said to me, like, with the most serious face, like, Get the hell out. You're walking to the party. Ooh. Like, I was Ooh. like, and I didn't know he was joking. But I was like, oh, fine then. I took my backpack and I started walking. And when no one was looking, and when we drove off, I start, I caught up with the car, jumped in the back of the trailer, and next thing you know, it involved, next thing you know, it involved me getting chewed out. He's like, no, 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 get out. You're still walking. And before I can even put my feet on the ground, 
He takes off. I get hit by the rear wheel, and I oh, go geez. tumbling in the middle of the Ooh. road. And I was all right. It didn't even hurt that much. I just kind of hurt my shoulder a bit. But the funniest thing was, I hear the car stop, and I hear them screaming, Oh my god, we killed Joey. <laughs> <laughs> and I jump back up. I'm like happy as hell. Like, yeah, I survived. What's up? And <laughs> he told me, he told me the one thing a best friend would only, only a best friend could ever tell you this. He yeah. said, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Had we found out you were really dead, we would have dumped your body in Green's Bayou. No <laughs> lie. <laughs> Covering up my death like a real friend. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I have friends like but that. But yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> But yes, other than that, um, by the way, before I, I really do have to give a mention because I didn't, I feel kind of bad because I think I put Arctic Princess under some stress. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, Alexia. Excuse me if I didn't, mean, if I sounded rude, but I had her voicing a character in one of my comic dubs, and I'm feeling really guilty because I kind of, I like, I didn't mean to put a deadline on it. It's just like mm -hmm. you know, I was trying to be reasonable about it. So I'm sorry, Arctic Princess, if I sounded like an asshole, but I was, I was having a stressful day. Aw. Shut up, I will hurt you. Jesus. <laughs> I just said aw. Don't you dare. Okay. Very okay. Well. Yeah, 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 you in the back. I see you. Quit making fun of me. <laughs> Paranoia. I'm not paranoid. I just think everyone's out to get me. <laughs> Which is a form of paranoia. No, shh. No, it's, it's, it's not. No one can prove it. No one. But yes, but you know what? Let's continue well on with the religion bashing. Why not? Anyone no, here of faith? Aw. I don't want to rule Excuse me. Bash. I'm sorry. E yes, you have to excuse me. I'm non-religious. I will warn you. I, I have no religion whatsoever, but I'm, I'm spiritual. But there you go. Uh, don't feel bad, because apparently my religious affiliation is with Christianity. However, it's to the extent of... I have the heart of a Christian, but the mind of an agnostic... AKA or maybe slash atheist for all I know. I'm conflicted on I'm my I'm definitely views. more agnostic. I am definitely an agnostic. I don't know. I believe there is a god. I do believe there is a god. However, it's a not part of god, like, yeah. he's, he's he's a very cynical person. He's like, "Why did the hell why the hell did I create these things? Yeah. They are annoying. They're like roaches." <laughs> Squish. <laughs> oh, hey now. What? <laughs> I got Excuse nothing. my cynicism. It could be worse, though. I could be Catholic. Oh, <laughs> nice one. That's okay. We're I went. To, I I was raised Lutheran, and I had to go to a Catholic high school. That was a mind fuck. Oh my god! Really? They couldn't. They couldn't get through their heads that I was Christian, like because it's weird. Cause like, for some reason, in their little minds, and at the time, mine as well. I will admit, I thought they were two completely different things. But they took it to the next level, like. Apparently, because of what Luther did 400 years ago, the Catholics they got really you were that pissy grass. at all Lutherans. Which, actually, you have to admit, though, um, Luther's ideas kind of made a lot of sense. And I kind of laughed to know that 400 years later, the Catholic Church kind of went, hmm, maybe he had a point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like, what, what, did they think you were going to, you know, like, start pinning up protests on each door? I almost did. Like he did? I almost oh. did, because I got pissed off, because I got pissed at the principal, and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it! Don't feel bad. So I Don't feel bad. I had, a I had a run-in with a... God, I'm sorry if I have a bad taste in my mouth, but these people! <clears throat> During my limbo let's play, and I shit you not... When I was doing the, uh, the, oh my god, my voice changed. Now I'm Gamer Lucia. I want my meat. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> okay, but regardless, it's um, what happened was, I, uh, people are gonna get pissed at me for saying this, and I'll say it. I'm gonna say it. Screw it. It's I fine. piss people off enough as it is. I hate when the Mormons advertise on my channel <laughs> because every. T because every time I'm watching one of my videos and I'm overgoing it, or some of my friends are watching it, they'll see my videos like, let's play Marvel vs. Capcom, let's play Resident Evil, let's play Vanquish, let's play Devil May Cry, and I'm a Mormon. <laughs> Get the fuck off. Get the fuck you're not off. Under my, you're not under my suggestions. GTFO, man. Yeah. It's like, you, and everyone's saying, like, don't you respect other people for their beliefs? I do. Just don't push it on me. And the only yeah. thing I don't like about those Mormon ads... It's not even, like, they're saying, like, yeah, I'm an everyday person like you, except I'm Mormon. 
They're trying to make it special for them. They're trying to make themselves look better than other people, which is annoying. Yeah. Just even Jesus wouldn't do that. Well, my favorite is. I was home once, and and a small troop of them came to my door trying to get me to convert. (laughs) So I put on. I I I actually (laughs) decided to go a little nuts. Because I saw them, they wouldn't go away. They rang the doorbell like four times. So I finally went, okay, fine, I'm gonna fuck with these people. So I put on, um, I have, I do chain mail, but I found like a whole bunch of my old, very heavy, large chains, and I have some black lipstick from Halloween. And so I turned myself into a goth and went to answer the door like that. I oh think I made one of them piss themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made one of them piss themselves. Because <laughs> I come hey, down, uh, Chris. <laughs> you know, painted on the blood underneath my eyes just to fuck with them. <laughs> Chris, uh, I'm guessing. Chris, you're kind of silent. You enjoying that little visualization? I'm trying to imagine the dream that Carol Star had in place of that horrid image. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, let's not talk about that dream, please. Julie, you are a hero, because I end up doing something just as bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> can we, pl- can ah. we just discuss that dream, bring that dream up for the lols, please? Uh, do yes, we have let's, bring to? It. Let's, bring, let's bring it up. I want to hear the dream. Uh, Julie, I don't if like you this please. dream. Uh, fine. Wait, what? The dream that Carol Star had. No, I don't want. I'm not. No, no, no. This is your idea. I'm not saying anything about it. Oh. If you're gonna do right. it, you do it alone, dude. Oh. Oh, don't be a. Well, I can't say dick, so I'll just say don't be a vagina. No, I'm uh. not doing. No, I'm not gonna say this dream. I, I, I deleted it from my memory. You're, you the one who has to, has to do it. Oh. You're on your own. Fine. And I'm really going to burn myself for doing this. Mm-hmm. Basically, what happened is a Carol Star dream that me and him were together, and we found Julie asleep, and... Uh, God. No, it's not what you think. There was no molest or insist. Leave that to, Prin- excuse- Leave that to Princess Molestia. Excuse me when I... Uh, well, you have to excuse me when I do this. <clears throat> In the words of George Takei... Oh, my... Oh, God, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that one. I hate that one. <laughs> Vegeta, how dare you interrupt me when I'm thinking about Lord Frieza and my thong? Stop. Oh! Stop it. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, sorry. Anyway, okay. I, um, I forgot what okay, I was talking about. Can we move on? It's not gonna work. That will not gonna. Kero Star's dream. Kero Dang it! Dream. You're not gonna let me go because I said it, aren't you? No. No, I'll let you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will get the I will get the commenters to keep bugging you. Julie, don't lie. I know for a fact that you're not going to let me go either until I come out with it. Uh, I know you, honey. I can read you like a book. Fuck off. You found her. You found her. You found her. What'd you do? <sighs> okay, uh, fine. What happened is that Carol Store and I had the idea. Well, he had he had the idea because it was his dream. And I had a bicycle pump on me. I stuck it in her mouth and inflated her breast to enormous proportions. The hell, Mushroom? <laughs> 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 Can I get a video game on her? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I was trying to hold it in when he was saying it. It's like, oh my god. Oh my! <laughs> I hate you. Oh come on, <laughs> Jesus! Well, tell him the rest. Do I have to? <gasps> oh, Keep fine. going, if you don't... please. Damn, okay. He's not gonna let you go. Oh, fine. So what happened next? <laughs> the next morning, in Carol Star's dream, that is, Julie wakes up thinking she's sleeping on two very big pillows, only to find two. Probably with beanbag sized breasts hanging from her like that. At least that's how I think that's how big we blew him up. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> Finish it off. Sorry. <laughs> Do I have to, honey? If you if you Finish <laughs> it. Fine. For the lows. Come on. Okay. The lows. Do Fine. it. Fine. The the lows. Do it for them. <laughs> okay. Fine. He did it for the kicks. So what okay, happened sorry. is that she storms into the kitchen because Carol Starr and I were just eating breakfast, and she has this horrifying glare on her face, and she's staring at me with, if looks could kill, I'd probably be dead and lying in the ground four feet under. Mm. 
And Only four. I didn't have time to dig, dig a six-foot grave. Anyway. <laughs> and then what ended up happening is that she starts kissing and hugging me, like, and telling me, thank you, thank you, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened, has ever happened to me. And then she Dump. smothers me in between her ginormous <laughs> breasts. I shit you not. <laughs> ah, that is so hilarious. I swear it to God, I've similar. seen, I hate to admit it, I've seen videos. It is, <gasps> that sort of thing is possible <gasps> in certain it's, parts no, of the body. No, it's not possible. No, 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 no. No, yes, it is. Rocco's modern life. Rocco's modern life. No, when he those fell videos, the those of that videos fat are, they're, they are, they are altered. They are not, you can't do that. Not without extreme oh. pain and serious issues happening. Oh, no, no, I was, I was making a joke about Rocco's Modern Life when he accidentally did that, and like that big fat lady hippo would go, How dare you! <laughs> Still, that is just. I can't stop laughing. I'll say it. That's, kill us for saying this. That sort of thing, I hate to admit it, is my fetish. Pe women blowing up like balloons. Okay, I said it, I'm going to go shoot myself now. Don't feel bad, I. You know what? While we're coming out on weird fetishes. Oh, you have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to be in the room for this? Yes, you are oh, going to sit oh, there and listen to us. Really. You I will hear it to. and you will enjoy it. I don't want to. I'm going to bring up a certain artist, a very wonderful Swedish artist. Oh. And his name is H. R. Geiger, and he did the concept art for Ridley Scott's Alien. Now, most people think, okay, that's just weird. It gets weirder. You know the giant heads the aliens have? The xenomorphs? Yeah. Mm. It originated as a giant penis at first. Penis! H.R. Yes. Geiger's artwork was mostly phallic-related and involved women being strapped to mechanized versions of machines that had penis. So, in other words... Imagine if hell was mechanized and full of machine rape. Well, it can. That's his Necronomicon. And one of the funny things was, I ended up having a book called The Necronomicon by H.P. Lovecraft of all of his like, scary stories. And it looked like a, like a black Bible, printed in gold and everything. Ooh. And what made it so beautiful was I scared the living shit out of um, some Jehovah's Witness. Because what I did was, they were like all sitting there in the Panda Express place. And I'm thinking, you know what, I feel like going to go get some Panda Express. And I see all a bunch of guys with like Bibles and wearing suits. Like, interesting. I go back in the car, grab the black Bible, the Necronomicon. <laughs> nice. And I like walking with it, I'm walking with it through the line, with it under my arm, showing it off to everyone, just like with a happy expression on my face. <laughs> and some of them kind of... Some of them kind of turn and just, like, go back to looking at their food, like, fuck this dude, he's scary. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can look like an average normal dude, but the moment you put the Necronomicon in my hand, I will do what I can. Like, I will mess up my hair, and I will just, like, do what I can to look insane, because those are the days where I don't want to be effed with. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, other than that, but that, that dream, though, that dream is making me laugh. Regardless. Hey, y'all heard my fetish. I'm an HR guy getter fetish person. Yeah. I'll be surprised if anybody understands my thing with Japanese body inflation. I will be surprised. Go to 4chan, they'll understand. <laughs> you can find anything on 4chan. And we've been in the word yes, yeah, so in the words of Geiger. You know what I'll have can I'll you know what I'll send you a few pictures, uh, Chris. Can you post them up on here on the video? Like, you know, that way people will get an idea of what the HR Geiger stuff looks like. I think like. they'll already be seeing it as you say that. <laughs> and but in the words, but in the words of Modera thirteen, when we were doing the let's play, <clears throat> machine rape for everyone. Oh. <laughs> and what the sad thing was, it's just really know. kinky for for me. It's kinky because it combines bondage with machine sex. It's like, oh my god, that is hot. Excuse me. Hot machine sex. Excuse me, Julie. You have to understand, but. Chris no, made me come out about the whole Geiger thing. It's like, why it's not? Fine. No, I kind of feel bad because kind of, everybody else gave their fetish, and I'm kind of sitting here like... <laughs> Any particular fetish for you, Julie? Julie? Honey, we've got you cornered now. <laughs> no. <laughs> honey, we're not, I have not. none. Julie, I'm don't innocent and pure. Oh, honey, <laughs> I'll don't keep the masquerade forever. Lie. Julie. I'll keep the masquerade forever. 
Julie, we've got you cornered. We've come out with our fetishes. Mine now it's your turn. Mine are actually fairly tame compared to yours. I kind of feel left out. Oh, really? <laughs> doesn't ma- Do doesn't tell. matter. It's a tame Do one. Tell doesn't anyways. matter. It's a fetish. Well, fetish is a fetish. Because, like... <laughs> Hold on a second. No, no, y'all keep going. I gotta go answer this. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, okay, so what's your, uh, what's your fetish? Ah. Uh, yes, okay. what is your fetish, honey? Well, I'm... God, we've it's come. really kind of tame because I have I'm so <laughs> I've been so fucked up in the past because of what has happened to me that like I'm terrified of everything at this point. Um, but I do have like a minor um, bondage fetish. Hmm. My only fear though is that if I let somebody do that, I don't want to be abused. I've, I will not. Don't like I really you. can't stand name calling. I really can't stand getting beaten. Uh, um, the, the masochism part of it. Ugh. Yeah, like I don't mind. I don't mind like a like, little pats and stuff, but like remind, I don't want to remi- bleed. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to like, lose the ability to sit for a few days. You know. Mm. Remind, <laughs> reminds me of me and my friend Teo. We al- I always made a joke about. It. And one of the funny thing was, was, she actually did make the joke that I, I wasn't. I was a bit of a masochist. A bit. Not any of that. Strap me on with leather and beat me. No, please, no. But hey, I was a, but no, but she brought that up, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna mess with her, and I ended up going to my job, and I found we had rope. <laughs> and in the words of Candle J, I'm not saying his whole name because I don't feel like getting kidnapped tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna need more rope. <sighs> and I made that, and I was like, I, I gotta wait to see her again because I'm just gonna, you know, just like pop out some rope. So, so uh, your place tonight? <laughs> Oh my! No, I no, it, it's I have like I have a minor fetish for that, and I have a minor like I can't even say it's a fetish. I mean, because like I guess I don't mind like my like little spankings and stuff, but like if if I'm gonna put myself that much in your hands, I gotta be taken care of. That's basically what I've come. And from. you know me. If honey. I'm gonna give if I'm gonna give up like like my right to move and and that kind of stuff, I don't want to be abused. Thank you. And if anything, you know, I, my only fear about that as a guy is like I personally wouldn't like to be bonded. Well, kind of, yes. But bitch, better not take my wallet. <laughs> That's my biggest fear. Like, don't take my wallet. <laughs> don't leave me there, honey. I've got you, I honey boo. Happy. I've got you. And plus, I got fruit. I got fruity friends, so they can just like walk in, like, oh my, Ooh. no. <laughs> Still though, <laughs> we are going. So yeah, that's a pretty tame idea. No problem with yeah, that. Yeah, we understand. Yeah, boom. I'm fairly tame. It's like we respect everyone. Yes. Except for <laughs> except for furries. Yes. <laughs> I um, always no. I always make I always make that joke. Don't don't worry, Don't feel bad. I make that joke every time. I was like, I don't really care what your fetish is. Like, I respect you. I'm a minor you. furry. I have to admit, I'm a minor furry. No, but you have to understand though. I really want to like, have a fursuit because that'd be fucking awesome to just go around dressed up like a wolf, be like, hey. <laughs> mm. No, but the only problem with me is, is I. You have to understand. I make that joke uh, out of. I, 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 I just want to point out something though for people out there. There is a difference between furries and plushophiles. <laughs> the what now? Yes, thank Not you, all God. Furries are plushophiles. <laughs> Someone finally addressed that. But no, uh, the only thing is, I always made that joke because one of my friends was one and I just, I always messed with him like, I, I, dude, there ain't nothing wrong with what you do what are you, furry, oh my god, fuck you <laughs> I would always make a joke like that so I respect everything like, I don't care what religion you are, what your fetish is we respect everyone, except for furries <laughs> like that joke especially um, especially my Joey from though, my like, <laughs> I want to be a giant stuffed animal and have people hug me cause I <laughs> that's would, what it comes down to if that me. happened, I would hug the living shit out of you because I love you so much Aww. Mm-hmm. Yes. Regardless of that, it's like, yes, this, uh, this interview went off a lot better than I thought it would. This is going off on a bit of a tangent, though. Anyways. Very much of a tangent. So, yes, let's get back on track as to where the fuck we were. <laughs> uh, excuse me if I'm doing the, if, if I'm continuing to do the new voice. It's just like, it's, it's a habit whenever I'm around y'all, too. It's like, I need the reason to do it. Mm. Then I can do the emo whiny bitch Riku voice. <laughs> Why did he cut me in half? Hope no one kicks my dismembered. <laughs> hope nobody kicks my dismembered body in its balls. And ah, oh, you're son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I, regardless though, it's just it was interesting to hear the origins behind that. I mean, that's a very nice story. I'm not gonna lie. You in the back, quit 
standing up. <laughs> Just to mess Wait. with the people watching this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get it. I know, I keep doing that, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. No, no, I will personally come down there, rip your lungs out, and replace them with your anus. <laughs> talk shit no matter what you do. <laughs> No, you be talking shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <it's just> like <laughs> Either way, um. Oh yeah, my, th let's talk about the future projects coming up. Should we do that? Mm hmm. Like, should we talk about any future projects? Because I'm just gonna advertise myself out there right now. Expect Actually, to see. Wait. Uh, go ahead. Um. No, I was just kind of realizing that both of you guys were talking about how you guys started on YouTube. I mean, I know I don't do Gmod yet, but. Like, I'd like to hear yours. We'd like to hear I your origin out. story. Go ahead. I feel left out. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, actually, to be honest, I had always watched Let's Plays and was like really fascinated by it, and I loved it. And then after seeing um, Shadows when he was still doing Game King, actually, at the time, I think what really inspired me to do it was actually the Juwan Let's Play, even though I was ripping you apart for it. Oh, <laughs> um, God. You remember that, Joey? Sorry. Yeah. What one? Um, the the accursed the Juwan, let's the play grudge. Jew on the grudge. <laughs> like it was kind of, I was kind of mean because like I would pick on I you. And say, but don't I worry, remember y'all's amnesia's you. let's play. That was funny to me. No. Do I have to post no, I was clips there for of them. those? Do it. God no. damn it! Why did I have to open my, to. my mouth? I Speaking bet you I know which clip you're gonna post of me. <laughs> I will post mm. both of our clips of us screaming like girls. How's that? Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, that'll work. Don't feel bad. I always scream. You know I scream like a bitch, if you, especially if you remembered my, like I said, remember my Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Let's Plays in the Invert in the uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god, he won't let at me the up! Time, at the time, like I said though, I am a huge Okami geek, I love the game, just everything about it. The style is amazing, the fact that there is so much Japanese legend and lore in there, and honestly is the Susanu fact that the main character is a wolf is just icing on the cake. Huh? Is Susanu in there? Yeah, everything. Susano, Susano, um, you, you, fucking hell, you, you miss Susano? Um, no, Susano, uh, there's, uh, let's see, Susano no was a warrior, um, who was the god of storms. Kushinada, in this case, in the game is Kushi. Kushinada was a princess who made wine, sake, and in this game it's just Kushi, but everything in it is based off of some Japanese legend, and I was, I loved it, and I was tooling around. Um, YouTube and I kept seeing videos, but none of them really did what I wanted to see the game, like what, what an actual Let's Play to do. So I said, fuck, I'll make my own um, and do it the way I want to do it. <laughs> um, that, you know, the funny thing is, that's kind of how it started off with the Devil May Cry Let's Play because <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm going to let you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, let you go on your origins, but right now, right. the only reason I kind of did Let's Play of the Devil May Cry thing was I admit it. It, call me petty, call me mean. I was bitter about it. Mm. I was yeah. very bitter. Because, um, this one chick, Katarinas, I give her props. I give her props. She beat the game on normal. I, uh. However, it's just, for me, I'm more of the, I'm one of those people who has to play the game and play the living shit out of it. Like, I have to look good playing it. Not a perfect, I'm yeah. not trying to be a perfectionist, but I had to get, like, s rank styles, kick the boss's ass. That's what I did. And a part of me is, like, thinking... It's kind of petty the way I did it, my inspiration behind it. It's like, she got thousands of views. And here I am thinking, I'm pissed. I, I kick Virgil's ass. I beat the last boss to shit. And a part of me is just feeling a bitter about it. Hmm. It's, it sounds really mean of me, but at the same time, I just... I wanted some yeah. recognition. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's okay. But go um, ahead, on With your Okami thing, like, you, they didn't yeah. do the game like you wanted it to? Because, like... I mean, I can understand, you know, playing the game and, you know, playing it as a blind or playing it the first time through, but I didn't really see any 100% that really explained what they were doing. Um, and so, I was one, I'm one of those people who, like, it's like a semi-walkthrough for me, almost. Because yeah. while I'm doing it as a, uh, um, as a Let's Play, I'm also kind of doing it so if people ever get stuck, mainly my friends, if they ever get stuck, they can come back and look at it and go, oh, I get it now. Um, yeah. Because I'm out. I'm out to 100% this thing. Um, I've already done it twice, and I've played the entire game six times. But I've 100 percent like you know, gotten all the tomes filled and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, explaining where everything is, and also, like, people, you know, they wouldn't really go into the war that much. And uh, granted, I don't either. Um, 
but you know, just to be able to say, by the way, this comes from fill in the blank story, you know. <laughs> um, like later on, at some point, we meet Momotaro, who is uh, the Peach Boy. Um, yes, I remember the legend the behind him. I remember yeah. the legend behind Momotaro, especially if you saw Samurai Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, you know, but stuff like that that I I, I really wanted to see that put in there. Um, and also really just kind of have fun and you know and yes point out the idiosyncrasies like you know why can I jump you know fifty stories in a cutscene but I can't do it in the game you know things like that. <laughs> I, uh, know it. I know it. Horrifyingly massive skulls that you find throughout the game you know like the, the skulls of cows that are big as houses you know I was like what the hell <laughs> what you know animal what? left this behind you know. You know what? How about we all post the links for whenever we complain about that because I have a good one for uh, my le- my final episode of Let's Play Vanquish. He used his boosters as a jetpack for his legs. Thinking, you know, that would have came in really helpful if I could have done that in game. You know that game? Yeah. 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 No, it's it's like, like things like that that I notice, and but also because it is there are s- it's such a beautiful story, and there are moments. It, well, yeah, that wait, that I do you have to up. stop and remember though. Okay. It's I forgot to remember. Yahtzee addressed that though. I forgot. I, I feel okay. so stupid for not actually bringing it up. It's Capcom. I forget that. Capcom oh, yeah, has a hap- mean, yeah, I had a Capcom rant in there. <laughs> yeah, Capcom has a look. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call Capcom out on its bullshit because what they did with Monster Hunter, I hate. I not. I might not like Monster Hunter, but what they're doing with the 3DS and Monster Hunter is complete bullshit. They're just trying to get more money out of you. They say, oh, you have to go buy a completely new different system. Thanks. Well, my my rant. I think I had like a 10 minute rant in one of the videos where I sat there in front of a Clover and just yelled at Capcom because the game was Damn. originally made by Clover. And if you buy the original PS2, there are the credit sequences, including Clover's logo at the end. When it was well, remade, Clover made Beautiful Joe too, as well. Yeah, when it was remade for the Wii, this is after Clover went down. I don't know if it got bought. No, it wasn't bought out. It just got shut down, basically. Because <sighs> um, it originally was a part of Capcom, but for some reason, Capcom went fuck you, Clover, and destroyed it. Because of this, <laughs> they decided to delete the entire credit sequence, which had the most beautiful song of the entire game and some of the most beautiful imagery. And they got rid of the entire credit sequence because at the end, the Clover logo was there. However, through the entire game, you can dig up the fucking Clover logo and, and use Bloom on it to get extra experience or uh, praise points. And it was like, fucking hell, Capcom. You need to get a life or, you know, get the boot out of your ass. One of those two. <laughs> Don't feel like bad. It's, you have to understand, though, it's Capcom. These yeah, people Capcom's have a habit of rehashing every boss you ever fought. Like, hey, I fought him once. I hope I never have to fight him again. You're doing it two more times. Well, that, yeah, that, that was another problem I ran into with uh, Okami. Like, I think you fight Orochi three times. I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> See, every... Look, you I, fight you the Spider what? Queen gonna, five I'm times. Well, twice I'm the going to issue queen out and three times I'm issuing out a challenge. I, I should, you know, I'm issuing out a challenge. To anyone on Inverted Shadows channel, or my channel, or on Thornwolf's channel, send me one Capcom game where you don't fight one boss tw- more than once. If you can do that, then I will give you eternal respect. And other than that, yeah, they have a habit of doing that. Capcom has a habit of making you fight the same boss over and over again, and doing awesome shit in cutscenes you wish you could do in the game. Prime Admit- example? Yeah. Devil, sorry, Devil May Cry 4. Oh, Leave yeah. it at that. Admittedly, like, I didn't mind fighting some of the bosses multiple times, but there was one that I really wanted to fight again, and they wouldn't let me fight him again. And I was like, damn it. That was an Ooh. awesome battle. I want to do that again. But I couldn't, which made me sad. Um, the only problem with the Capcom, though, is like the only boss they ever made me refight because I actually wanted to was Virgil. That was it. Yeah. Virgil was the only reason. And it's like, have, like a part of me saying, yeah, I want to see how better he got. He starts off hard. That ain't bad. It gets harder. This really ain't all that bad. I can still manage last, like, the final boss. Oh my god, I'm wasting all my items and he's killing me! Yeah, that was my problem with, with, the, with my first run-through of Okami. It was like, <laughs> this bastard's being... Actually, I don't know, is this, is this another Capcom staple where, like, they make you think the game is over and then they went, and they're like, oh wait, you have another 30 hours to play. Yeah, uh, they did the same thing with, uh, like I said, Devil May Cry 3. Um, You think your second fight with Virgil is the last one because they're getting ready to open the gates to hell? Oh wait, yeah. just letting you know, you only got through half of the game. Oh yeah, what? That's what happened to me, like, cause, um, you know, I really, I loved Akami. I got, you know, you fight Orochi, and this is a, this is a minor spoiler. I'm gonna get to this at some point, but I think anybody who knows the game already knows this. Um, you fight Orochi, and the game goes, "Hooray! You killed Orochi! Hurrah! Good for you!" And I kind of went, "Well, let's see. That was 35 hours of gameplay. It was a good game. I'm kind of sad it's over." 
And so I was kind of happy slash sad when they went, wait, there's more. <laughs> now you have to go chase down the big boss who's really fucking things up. <laughs> you have to find Orochi's boss. And it's like, oh, okay, um, hmm. Kind of like Skyward Sword with Girahim. Yeah, oh it was a little God. like, well, I'm happy it's still going, but damn. I'm just going <laughs> harder one? I'm just going off of the fact that uh, Super Mario Galaxy 13 crossed Girahim with rarity. Ah, <sighs> oh, fuck. Seriously? Nice. Really? No. But, yeah. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate no. You know what? People call me. I'm not homophobic. I'm not. I have. I have. I may. I scare straight guys. But Girahim, the only reason I don't like him is because it's like it's like Zelda suddenly went into a bad anime where he's an over the top, <laughs> where he's an over the top penis loving sadistic bastard who is like, I'm going to torture you, Link. No, the Ooh. first time the first time I saw a picture of of uh, Girahim or whatever the hell his name is, I was you just kind of like, and up. begin the fanfics now. <laughs> it was like it's gonna happen. I, it's just a matter of time. The only time I saw him was on the on the cover of Game Informer when they showed a picture. <laughs> They showed a picture of him from the neck up, like, mm, this guy, this guy seems like he's pretty evil. He reminds me of, like, some dude from, you know, Dragon Quest. Let's see how well this works out. And I finally see him, like, oh my god, it's Rihanna if she were a man. <laughs> <laughs> and when he did the thing with his tongue, I'm like, oh, wow. That, that's exactly, that's why I said, I saw, I saw one cutscene of the him, Yowie. Was just like, the Yowie. The Yowie. is going to be, so, it was, like, written for this, you know? <laughs> Like, so many fangirls are going to write so many fan fictions and draw so much and Link on Gearing. And I'm gonna have Gearing. to kill myself because of it, you know. I was like, god damn it. Like, god damn, that was sick. It's like, ugh. But, so, that's how your whole, your origin started out, like, with, uh, Okami? Yeah, because I, I wanted to see, I wanted to see me do it. And, and, like, it was kind of weird because I think everybody has their own interpretation of that game. And especially of the voices, because as you know, there is no voice acting, and let's face it, the sound effect for the voice acting is fucking crap. <laughs> I hate that. Is it kind of like? Ba is it <laughs> oh, they took they, they took I'm a like page. They took a page from Banjo Kazooie. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, was I, like, I hated that sound effect. <laughs> but I think everybody has their own interpretation of what their voices actually sound like. And I wasn't able to find one where I liked Eason's voice, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm doing my Eason voice." <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get that out there, so it was like, yeah, sure. So I found myself a Dazzle and did it. Oh I'm god, don't it. don't talk to me about Dazzle right now. Don't talk. Okay. I wanted to be. I uh, just don't talk to me about Dazzles. I hate them. I had my issues with them. They were so fucking laggy. If anyone wants really? to know a good example, go look at my Metal Gear Online videos and see the difference in quality. But, um, you know what? This has been a pretty good interview, because right now I'm having a call. <laughs> I appreciate being on here. I appreciate you actually, you know, giving me the chance to get some spotlight from you, uh, Inverted Shadow. And then, don't forget my Julie. And Julie. I definitely, I'm not going to recognize, I'm definitely going to recognize Julie. Still, though, I just can't let go of the dream. <laughs> oh, People are going to be... People are never gonna let me hear this. <laughs> uh, this is gonna crop up every turn. I will I give you. Me. I will give you. I will. Wait, <clears throat> I want to see if anyone actually responds to this. I will give you fifty dollars in PayPal money if you actually do a fan art of that. <laughs> I hate you. I bet somebody will do that. Do I will have to shoot now you. that I bet now that they said it. So you said it. Somebody will do it. <laughs> Thanks, Madara. Remind me to kill sadistic. you in your sweep later. Whatever. Whatever works. I don't really give a damn. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. It's like, I'm an evil bastard. You act like I give a fuck. <laughs> but, um, thank you all for letting me be here. I'm glad I got to talk with y'all, because I'm not gonna lie, y'all y'all had a very sweet story. That was very Aww, nice. thanks. Aw, thank you. Thank you for helping me, you know, push through, helping me get through the bullshit, and actually helping me, you know, get popular, get a little famous. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Anything for our brother in arms. And I appreciate that a lot. And oh. before we go, anyone kind of... Oh, go ahead, Julie. I uh, Sorry, I, I just realized that you got something. I was, I was about to say, um, just just as a quick... Did we want to say anything about the uh, uh, the Kami story, the Kami saga? Because mm, I, I just remembered that. If we do, we might have to emphasize on it another part. Because, like I said, I have like a five-minute span right now. And yeah. before, we, before we go... <clears throat> 
Anyone kind of notice something familiar about this room we're sitting in? Mmm... It is kind of strange. It feels like I've used it in like, a video before. I just can't seem to put my finger on it right now. I feel like we've been... I really do feel like we've been here before. Is this like... Is something's odd. Julie, do you hear footsteps? And because I'm quite certain that this room is somewhere that I've used before. Yeah, I kind of do. I, I sort of remember... Wasn't there... Didn't you do that for that what one the thing? F oh, what? Jesus! Oh, fuck! Old chum, it seems as if these people have discovered our private quarters. Oh my god, old bean, we've been discovered! Quick, into character! Yeah.